वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स आज हम पढ़ेंगे रिलेशनशिप्स के बारे में ठीक है कि हाउ टू क्रिएट रिलेशनशिप इन एम एस एक्सेस सो वी विल ओपन एम एस एक्सेस हेयर एंड वी विल सिलेक्ट द ब्लैंक डेटा बेस एंड हेयर वी गो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल we will go to the design table of our table and we have to save this table with uh, its name like i write its name employee emp and uh, here we will create its columns or attributes so the first column we can see it is id and the primary key is already selected here so it means this column or this attribute is the primary key so what does primary key means primary key has two rules number 1 is this that primary key cannot be null means primary key cannot be empty we cannot left its value as an empty space and the second rule is this that primary key cannot be repeated so id is an attribute which cannot be left blank and the id cannot be repeated so its data type is auto number so we leave it as it is the next column we will create employee name and we will create its type as leave it as as text the next is its department id and department id must be a number the next we will create employee contact number and contact number also must be its data type will be in number then the employee designation and uh, we will left it as it is so we will save this table and uh, we will write here let for example we have ali its department id is let's say 1 and its contact number is let's say 1 2 designation is let's say teacher the second student we have khan its department id is 2 and its mobile number is this and he is like let for example salesman the third one we have peter its department is id is third and this is his mobile number and he is manager so now we will create another table and then we will create relationship between these two tables this is another table now we will go its data sheet view design view and here we will save this table like it is our department table now here uh, id will be the primary key of this department table and uh, let's say it is department id and uh, department name let for example department strength and whatever attributes you want we can add here now let's strength should be in text should be in number and uh, here we comes in the data sheet view let for example the first department whose id is 1 and that department is of computer science department its strength is 1200 the second department is of uh, management sciences and its strength is 700 third department is of english strength is 1500 now we have created two tables here and uh, first of all what to do with making a relationship we will come here in database tools and uh, we will click on this relationship 
icon before this we will, we have to close all of the tables which are open here otherwise we will get an error now click on the relationship here we will see a dialog box and here we see the tables which we have created so double click on everyone so we can see the tables here now how to create a relationship in relationship it is necessary that a primary key should be connected to a foreign key primary key here a primary key is department id we can see in the department now this department id attribute must exist in another table so which will create as a foreign key now here we can see department id is the primary key here department id is the primary key in the department table but department id is also exist in another table which will act as a foreign key now here in this case we can create relationship between these two tables so we can access the data from another table now what we will do we will click this department id and we will drag this and we will release this to another department id in this employee table so as we release it we will see a dialog box of relationship and we can see here one to many relationship and uh, check this these boxes in force referential integrity and click on ok now we can see that we have created a relationship of one to many this is a symbol of many and this is a symbol of one now this is one to many relationship it means for one instance in left hand side in the department id there may be many instance many association in the right hand side in the employment table it means if we increase one department so there may be many employees in the employee table so that's it for today we will discuss more relationships and more stuff in our next video so stay tuned with us thank you mm -hmm.